the endorsement of the U.S. government advisory panel, the Food and Drug Administration is now able to raise the starter pistol and set off the race to defeat the disease, which has a major head start. We are just a few short days away from what I believe will be the beginning of the end of the coronavirus pandemic in America. 20 million Americans could be vaccinated just before the end of this month in December. A total of 50 million Americans could be vaccinated by the end of January. The government advisers concluded that Pfizer's jab, developed with German partner BioNTech, appears safe and effective for those aged 16 and over, with health workers and nursing home residents first in line to receive it. The vials must remain at minus 70 degrees Celsius at all times, posing a major challenge. And even if they pull that off, the next obstacle will be convincing enough people to take it. Probably two, three years, maybe it'll be safer, but I mean, even if the FDA approves it, I'm not taking it. I have my dogs, do. They got to prove everybody that everything is 100% secure. The UK has warned against using the Pfizer vaccine on those with a history of severe allergies after two health workers fell ill. But a clinical trial in the US of almost 44,000 people showed it was 95% effective with no serious safety issues. And three former US presidents have volunteered to get their jabs in front of cameras to boost public confidence. To be effective, two-thirds of the population will need to be immunized, taking many months so there's still a marathon ahead rather than a sprint to reach the finish line.